Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ray from iPhoneRepair.com. This is basically just a quick video tutorial about the Time Warner Cable TV app that was uh, just released a few days ago. Uh, it was released, and it came with some a few updates. Uh, the biggest update being live streaming TV, which is really cool, and also uh, came out with support for ICS. So on my Skyrocket here, I have the uh, unofficial or leaked version of ICS, which seems to be working great for me. Uh, but whenever you install the Time Warner TV cable app on your device and you try to watch live TV, it doesn't work. It gives you an error message on the screen telling you that it doesn't work on rooted devices. So some of the initial reports were that you can go into uh, menu settings applications and clear the data and then start the application again and it, and it would work, which that is not correct. There's a few things that you could have done to go into the file system and, and change some settings and everything like that, but it was really complicated. So the great developers over at XDA have already come up with a, uh, with a workaround for this. Uh, a member by the name of Boosted has actually come up with a great APK uh, that you can just install to your Android device. So the first thing you want to do is if you're on Gingerbread or an earlier version of Android, you want to go to Menu, Settings, Applications, and you want to go ahead and enable unknown sources if you're on ICS you'll go to menu settings and then you'll actually go into security and then scroll down and enable unknown sources so once you've done that you'll then connect your Android device to your computer and enable the mass storage mode which I'm assuming everybody should know how to do that once you've done that you want to go ahead and go to the XDA developers uh, site to the thread and go ahead and delete delete excuse me download the APK and install it to your device now I will put the link in the description of the video as well as in the written tutorial uh, but what you want to do is go ahead and download that to your computer and then once you get it to your computer you want to go ahead and transfer it over to your SD card on your device okay once you've done that you'll go ahead and you'll press uh, your applications and you'll go into your file system you can use my files or any sort of uh, file explorer if you have uh, asteroid explorer or whatever you may want uh, but just find whatever you download the APK tap on it uh, you can scan it before you install it which I would recommend if you have any sort of malware or security software uh, or you can just install it okay and then you'll go ahead and install it now I won't do that because I've already done that uh, but once you've done that you can then go into the application and you can then sign in and you will no longer get the error now of course I'm not going to sign in with my information uh, because I don't want that public but after I sign in I'll come back to you after the alright so I've went ahead and installed the app and I have signed in so now I'll go back to the application hopefully I won't lose the recording here because there may be some sort of conflict with the screencaster app I'm using to record the screen and the Time Warner Cable app streaming actual live video. Hopefully it works. But there we go. You can definitely see that uh, the application is now working. It's not give, giving me any sort of error telling me that uh, it doesn't work because my device is rooted. So definitely big thumbs up to Boosted for this uh, mod and this APK uh, definitely you want to hit them up on the XDA developer site and give them a thanks and also donate to them uh, for all the work that he's put into this because it definitely helps us out this is Ray from iPoimpair.com thank you very much